In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the MIDI transpose functions. I have this simple MIDI pattern here that I've programmed in. Very basic, but I'm using it for demonstration purposes. I've created a duplicate track with the same virtual instrument. Now I'm going to copy this MIDI pattern down to this new track. So I have an exact replicate of the other track. The same instrument with the same MIDI pattern. So I just want to make a few changes to the tracks. I'm going to pan this one slightly to the left and this one slightly to the right. When you play it back, it still sounds exactly the same. Let's double click this item to bring up the MIDI editor. Select all the items, either with Ctrl A on the PC or Command A on the Mac. Then go to the Edit menu and Transpose. The shortcut is the letter T. This brings up the Transpose MIDI dialog box. You can choose how to transpose your notes. You can choose to transpose all notes or selected notes. I've selected the notes, so I'll leave it on selected notes. And here you can choose what is shifted, either by semitones or by a scale. Let's work with semitones first. If you use a positive value, it shifts it up. And if you use a negative value, it shifts it down. So here I've shifted it down by five semitones. And if I play it back, Let me move on to scale and show you how this works. From scale, I can choose what scale I want it to be in. Let's change it to C major. On the left here, you'll see the notes have been shifted to sit in the C major scale. If I play that back, the two parts aren't matching up in key, but you get the idea of how to shift these patterns now. Let's try something else. I'm gonna change it from the C major scale to a G major scale and click OK. And now it's converted so that the notes sit in the G major scale. Now yeah, it's not the greatest performance, but you get the idea of how you can shift MIDI note patterns into different scales. Let's just undo that. Now it's back to where it started. One more thing I'd like to show you. With the semitones, you can choose to move it by a designated amount of semitones. And then you can tick this snap to scale. Here you can choose a scale that you want the MIDI notes to snap to. I'll choose a C major scale. So it's gone up by three semitones, but all the MIDI notes fall within the C major scale. The pattern will look a little different as some notes are conforming to the scale as opposed to just shifting merely up by semitones. So that's your MIDI transpose functions. It can come in real handy when trying to create counter harmony ideas, like I've done here. I've copied a synth pattern to a new track, and have then applied transpose shifting to create a new pattern. It also comes in handy when there's a key change in a song. Let's say after the last chorus, your track gets shifted up. You can easily just take the MIDI, use the transpose function, and shift it up by the designated amount. In the next tutorial, I'll go over MIDI step recording. Catch you in the next tutorial.